Mud, mud, mud. Everywhere I look. It's been raining for weeks here. The earth is getting clean. <laughs> uh, check it out. Big Red is up on the bench here. And with all this rain means that we've got dirty water and mud everywhere. So to go out today with this powerful truck, I got to make sure it's protected. And I'm using Cow RC's Utter Butter. You heard that right. <laughs> waterproof grease. Super waterproof grease. Uh, uh, thick and easy to apply. I put on some gloves and I want to put it on the areas of the exposed bearings and drive lines. So check it out. Inside on the C-hubs, I can point down here, maybe a little better there for you, along the bearings as well as the axle stubs. The axle housing has an exposed bearing right here and we're running MIP drive shafts. So this is a steel drive shaft. I put this grease in the cup area and the pin area, but not on the uh, where where the uh, extension happens, right? We don't want anything in here gumming up this area of flex. Same back here. Uh, grease applied, grease applied, and back on the uh, plastic drive shaft we have for a snap area, same in the, uh, uh, in the joints to prevent any kind of premature wear with the sand and water and mud. So there you go, enough chit chat, but hopefully that helps you out. Remember when you're going out to play in the mud and the sand uh, to protect those bearings in that area. Also, if it's dry outside and you're not going to be in any kind of water, use some sort of silicone spray a dry silicone spray so because this kind of uh, grease will just attract dirt and dust and and it'll do the opposite it'll start to wear it before you wanted it to happen so there's the advice let's get outside and have some fun Middle axle dropped its bearing out. Pinion definitely has come away. I'm gonna have to crack that open and have a look at it. Man, that thing is a powerhouse. Clean desk, everything looks good. 
I already have an idea of what's going on in here, and I'm pretty sure that I've broken the pinion shaft. Now that's basically the shaft that comes out and attaches to the to the uh, drive shaft right in here. See, so this whole piece is just sliding out. Now I haven't pulled it all the way out yet. The only way to be able to tell for sure is I'm going to undo the set screw that goes straight through the output drive, uh, and then I can remove this drive shaft. Now I'll just spin it around. So this set screw actually goes all the way through. I'm just gonna try to back off this drive shaft here. There we go. Yeah, check. <laughs> That's a pretty good indicator something's broken on the inside. Here's the bearing. Use my needle nose pliers here just to try to get that, remove it. I wanna see if I can just pull this right out. Nope. So that's interesting. It's just simply come away from the inside spool gear. What has, oh, look at this, a bearing. That's what it is, my friends. You just discovered it with me. It's not that it's broken. That's good. This means that it may be a fairly inexpensive fix. This is the inside sleeve of a bearing. That's what that is. A bearing has exploded on the inside. Hopefully it hasn't broken my gears. I'm going to have to take apart the whole thing and have a look at it now. Just gonna get on the inside with a Phillips here. Undo the four screws. One, two. Now these rims I have on here, you actually have to do quite a bit of work just to access the inside wheel nut where you can tighten it on the axle stub. All of these little screws have to be undone so you can take the cap off to get this nice and solid. But not a big deal, not a big deal. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Ah, axle removed. A lot of you already knew that, but maybe some of you didn't and it helped. That just avoided a lot of work. I wish I had my skinnier needle nose pliers. I do, where did I put them? And of course, folks probably know this, but uh, if you take your screw and put the nut on the end as you're putting them down, you never have to worry about losing them. No amount of grease was going to help me with my bearings today, I see. <laughs> Putting that nut right back in place. As soon as I find it. No! <laughs> now this piece right here is the truss. And the truss is also the linkage mounting for suspension. So the piece of the axle housing I want to remove is screwed into place by two screws. So I'm gonna remove them on either side. And then just slowly flip it over again now that it's released. And here is our moment of truth. Good, time to get in there and clean out that spool gear. Check that out. Mm-hmm. I don't see any ball bearings yet, which is a good sign. Okay, there's the pinion inside. Looks pretty nasty, hey, all that muddy water. You guys always ask me, is grease enough? And the answer is no. You still have to take it apart and do some maintenance, but grease certainly helps protect the teeth. Here's a little degreaser. I wanna have a look at that spool gear. All right, as part of my kit, I always have bearings on hand. Whoops, <laughs> now one less. Uh, but I wanna make sure to match up the bearing that exploded and replace any bearings that are questionable. And by that, I mean, are the bearings, you know, while I'm in here, do they actually move freely or do they grind? This one's not so bad. I feel a little bit of grinding, but nothing inside that's concerning. And this one's good too. So I just need a bearing for the inside pinion. So with the new bearings in place, one there, one on the inside right behind the, the pinion, no slop or play, everything's ready to be put back together. Now before I do that, just for some maintenance, I'm going to go ahead and remove this pin off the drive shaft, slide it out, and also remove the two bearings that are here. That way when I reassemble it and go back into the mud, I know I'm not going to have a problem on this side and everything's been done in one fell swoop.
Just a quick note on grease, I've greased both bearings and a very thin layer over everything. Uh, on the inside, the pinion has been greased as well, but not too much. I don't want to gum it up, right? Too much grease will cause resistance and that's no good. Same on the inside of the axle housing with the new one. It's got a bit of grease there, not too much. I want to make sure to line it up, put this back in place. I'm going to flip it over now that everything feels like it's good to go and uh, just pretty much install the truss and the links and the drive shafts. Okay, this is where all the water and silt runs down. Watch this. So muddy and sticky. Ready in three, two, one, go. Push in, push in. Straight power, all six tires turning like crazy. Beautiful. Look at that surf coming back. Pure power. Right into the sludge. Look at that shelf. Man. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. Let's bring it through here. With ease.